Hey guys, we are back with um the refrigerator we ended up picking in this process. Now this where it's sitting is kind of challenging to show. We had already put stuff in it, so I'm gonna kind of come at an angle. I don't know. This is reflective, so I don't even think you can see this well. <laughs> Maybe come from the side. I think this is still not a good angle because it's so reflective of all the stuff we've taken out. We'll do the best we can. Maybe I'll put a um, full body in here. Um, let's go ahead and open the refrigerator because I know when we were picking um refrigerator, this was the part that mattered. Now, I cleaned some of the food out, but not all of it. Okay, guys? <laughs> okay. So, the most important thing to us, you get your tape measure. This was the most important thing to us because we went from an 18... Um, what's this, a 25, baby? Yeah. Okay, so what was important to us was how much space were we really getting? Were we really getting more space? Some of the refrigerators we saw, and excuse us, we've had the doors open because we was cleaning it out. So this does have an alarm on it. I guess we would hear it go off in a little bit. It's like a... Um, door open alarm okay so how how much is it from front to back 19. okay and from left to right 18. it's 18 okay and so you have sh one two three and this fourth shelf so I had to rationalize with the shelves we had from the older fridge compared to this where we'd be getting more space. So we have this, 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 and this. And then you have two bins. This is a really large, let me stand back. You hold it a little bit. I have them pulling it out so you can see it. It's pretty large. Give them some measurements so you can get an idea. Sometimes you can't tell um, just looking at it. If you're in store, you can actually. So that goes from front to back. 17. 17. Then left to right. 13 and a half. That's 13 and a half. This one was super big. This one is not as big. Would you say this one's not as big as one of our other ones? Or is it's bigger left to right? It seems bigger left to right. Okay, let's get the measurements of this bottom bin. 13. 13 and a half. Okay. And so this is the refrigerator side. Um, just to give you an overall. Oh, that's when they changed the water filter what is all that over there it air, says pool air filter oh you did start researching what they were saying about the air filter in the manual it's supposed like, to eliminate odors in the refrigerator how often do you change the water filter six months and how often do you change the air filter you gotta do some more research on that. more research how much does this water filter run have you checked the price on it yet uh, about $40 to $60, depending on where you feel. Depending on where you get it. You know how much the air filter run, run get? The air filter is about uh, 20 bucks. Hmm, 20 bucks. And this is would give y'all all the model information. Let me make sure it's not blurry. There we go. It gives you dimensions, cubic feet. Y'all pause y'all screen. And look at that. It's going to give you the model number right there. This is a frigid air. Okay, this is a light. Some people, we check reviews. And, ooh, they talk junk about the lighter. Ooh, I can't see my food. It's so dark. Oh, my goodness. We just fine over here. Um, This is our butter bean. I'm not a humongous fan because let me give you an example. Hold this, babe. I like to put up to three things of butter and I put them in the other refrigerator, I put it like that. So I can't close it. And so the other butter had to come down here. And so, 
you know, we just have it like that. Cream cheese generally stays in the freezer if we're not doing recipes as often. So I'm like, okay, we're just putting it here. We still learning to refrigerate. Um, get them out of there. I don't want to take all this stuff out because we'll be here a good little piece. But kind of measure this for them. That was another thing that sold us. Um, it had some nice depth with these little sides. I think two of them, one, one and two, measured nice, and these are thinner. But get her the measurement specs for that. It's 14 and a half across. Okay. And from front to back, six and three quarters. Okay. You finna hear that alarm going off. That's saying I had my door open too long. Okay. Get them the skinny, the skinny shelf. The skinny ones are 13 and a half. And then from front to back, five inches. Okay, okay. Let's get some of that out of the way. I'm gonna try to end the video as soon as I can so y'all don't have to hear the alarm keep going off. But that's an issue for some people. Some people's complaining about the alarm on certain models we were researching. Um Let's go over the freezer side, y'all. I want to make sure y'all able to see everything. Like I said, I didn't take anything out. I don't even think we got anything in there yet, the top one, which is pretty cool. We actually have space that we're still using to grow, but we do have a deep freezer, and the old refrigerator is in the garage, so we're thankful for that. Let me just show y'all. Y'all have this shelf. You have this shelf, and you got this bin. Go ahead and give them the measurements on this. And then we'll just go with the ice feature. Like I said, because the alarm going off. Okay, this is that bottom one being. He's not completely closed. He's open. 13 and a three quarters. Uh-huh. He is 10 inches across. And he's kind of deep to about, um, about 11 inches. So you can put a good amount of stuff in there. Okay, and let's get the size of these shells in here. You got, you can use a glass shell and these two metal shells. Let's get measurements of it. 14 inches front to back. Um, a little bit over 12 from side to side. Okay, and we have some little side containers here. Um, get them measurement. All of them look the same, right? Yeah, get them measurements of the side containers. Nine and a half by four and three quarters. Okay. Get them features about the ice maker, what they told us. Because um, we haven't found it in the book as much as you've been reading. Oh, let's see what the ice looks like. Oh. You can pull ice out of this way if you like. Um, this is the on and off button. You can turn your ice maker on and off. What button? Is it the green or that little? It's right under the green. Oh, I do see a power. No touch. <laughs> I do see. Hold on, let me get it. And it's when, like a power symbol under the green. And when the green light is on, mm -hmm. the ice maker is on. It's working. Okay, okay. Um, you can pull this up and out if you want to dump it. Um, actually, they recommend that the first two batches you dump in your um, first 48 days. Uh, um, 48 hours. I'm sorry, 48 hours. Yes, correct. Um, and then... Um, up front here, you can have crushed ice, you can have cube ice, um, it has a light for the dispenser. Oh, let's close it. Let's kind of do it with a little example. One of the things people, now, that kitchen not perfect because we're doing cabinets, painting our cabinets right now. Get a cup, um, and that video will be up as well. Um, I'm working on editing that right now. You want to do a smaller cup? Well, it doesn't matter. Because at this point, we're going to... Okay, so I've read so many reviews. And this is why I wanted to do this video. 
They kind of go over some of the things people complain about. They talk junk about. One of the things I could see, and I believe it was with this particular refrigerator, that their water did not come out cold. So let's kind of just, you know, I like to see. I want to peep up here. Hold on, back up just a minute. Let me see if I can get the camera up here. It's, it's good. I don't know if you can see it. But the water function, when somebody was complaining, it was complaining because the water didn't come out cold. And baby did read the book. The water does not come out cold. You have to add ice. But somebody was really, really, really upset with that. Go ahead. You can try that water function. And that's your water, folks. Okay. Next, one of the features that I wanted, because I do buy Chick-fil-A crush ice. I like, I want to do, well, let's do the cube first. The cube first. Now, you see that? Do it again. Do it, and I'm going to get back a little. You see how them ice chips falling on the floor? Some people really, really, really upset with that. Because they say, now I got to clean up the floor behind this. Okay. Next crush feature. <laughs> Some people up here. You know, when I do it, do it again, do it again, do it again. I'm going to have to do mine like that. You know, I have to see. Because we haven't really started pulling from it like that yet. Because our 48 hours will be today about 3, 4 o'clock, something like that. So, now he's pulling the towel. He's looking for the towel to clean up the floor. Some people have really, really, really complained about that. They're upset that it's a big mess. I mean... What would I say? Would I say, I mean, it's not going to be exactly perfect. Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't really talk like that. But I would say find a way to use it where it's not splattering, whether you hold your hand right there or however you do. Us personally, we bought two bags of ice a week, and we've been doing that for years. It's going to be a lot of years. He got a little water put on the floor because ice started to melt. And so some people are really upset about that. And me personally, if I'm giving me some ice, I may not use this small of a cup. I might would use one of our bigger cups and just pour the ice in there. I have to decide how I'm going to do it when we do it. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but I, I do see one of our children's hands on the refrigerator. It's like a Hand print, you can't, you can't, you can't really see it. I'm not gonna be able to pick up on camera real good, but um, he's cleaning the floor from the ice chip, so that just gives you an idea. One another thing we can say about this refrigerator is it's really cold in here. That's something I actually, actually, really, really like because one of my drinks I drink, um, it's like a electrolyte drink I drink. And I, and I mix it up and I keep it in the refrigerator. I keep two cups. And when I come to my cup sometime and I owe the refrigerator, it wouldn't feel as cold and I'm not completely sure why. <laughs> it wouldn't feel as cold. Like, uh, had the kids been keeping the refrigerator open too long. But one thing I noticed within, I don't know, the first 10, I don't even know if it's a full 10 hours, to be honest. It was later that day because they came around 3, maybe 8, o'clock at night i went to go drink some of this out the refrigerator and it felt so chill nice and cold yeah anything else you want to say baby so that's something my youngest was even saying mommy it's so cold in the refrigerator so i like that i like that it's nice and and, and, and cool in the refrigerator it makes me wonder well how cold was our other refrigerator but i think we're pleased i'm just learning how to put and where to put everything um, the big plus is that we do have another refrigerator in the garage. So there are times we wanted a lot, a lot of super duper, a lot of produce and it just wasn't space. We wanted a lot of eggs. I would take 60 count of eggs. I would like to have four boxes at one time because we do go through a lot of eggs. Um, and you, you only could have as much <laughs> eggs as you had space to put them. So I'm... I'm thankful. I like it. The kids really like it. They talk about how big it is. Uh, I want to try to put a picture in because 
my picture is gonna be reflective. It's gonna reflect it. A cab cabinets are not put put on. It's just yeah, it's just not gonna be the best picture because I've already it's already at an interesting angle. We was gonna have this facing the stove, but it was so huge once we got it here. Now it's facing where our new dishwasher is gonna end up. And you'll see that video when we pick it out. <laughs> Anything else I left out, babe? Um when you first um, get the water line hooked up. They recommend that you let the water run for four minutes to uh, get all the air out of the line. Okay, okay. Yeah, but other than that, uh, it's, it's good. We like it. It's a great addition to our home. What Talk about the hookup because that's, that's kind of the main thing that people really want to know about. And that was a big main thing for us. Talk about the hookup. Oh, I got some controls right here. What do these controls do? People was complaining in the video. They all these controls are right here. And I touched the controls by mistake. It's in a horrible place. Um, what the, you got to say? The top two tell you at what cold, uh, how cold your freezer is, how cold your freezer is. The two top, the two bottom ones tell you um, how your filters are doing. Oh, interesting. They let you know when it's time to replace ah, your I air filter that. and your water filter. You're right. So even if somebody touched these two by mistake, they can put it back to recommend yeah, they can it. Just adjust oh, it. gotcha. And right here, well, I don't see a light on the air filter. Hold to reset. I'm not touching that. But why the air filter not lit up at all? I see the water filter is on good. Mm, we have to do some more research. We got to read the book. <laughs> Did it come with an air filter? Did it say it came with an air filter? I believe it's already one in there. It says pool. But I hadn't checked. What happens if I pull this? It says pool. It's going to open up. Oh, well, I'll let you handle that. Okay. Because we got to look. We got to make sure it came with one. Because the air filter is what? It helps it. It helps keep the um, odors down in the fridge. And I was going to buy a baking soda thing for this refrigerator if... Will I need baking soda if it has an air filter? Technically but I, not, but if you want to, it won't hurt. Hmm. We're going to do a little research. Um, I want to know if it comes with the air filter because I wonder why this one is not lit. Can I touch this button? Does this button do anything? Um, oh, I touched something. You did. <laughs> All I did was touch the button and say air filter, and it seemed like everything got brighter. Yeah, I wonder if this comes with an air filter. Okay, I'm, I'm curious about that because we actually didn't know as much research as we've done with refrigerators. We didn't know this one kind of went to an air filter until it got here, actually. So, let's see. People complain about a lot of plastic. And I will say this. The delivery guy, they took out most of the plastic. Now, they couldn't get every little fine thing. We found some fine pieces. But, um... They did take off most most of the plastic. I didn't know the delivery guys did that, and I thought that was a nice. I thought that was nice. I mean, I'm sure we paid for it, but I'm just saying it was nice that they did just deliver it. Um, they actually went over some information with the refrigerator, and they took off the plastic. And delivery was really smooth. We was really, really blessed and thankful um, for how that process went. Anything else, baby? No. We we'll come. Big, it's nice, it's a good addition. Got any questions? Let us know. We'll do a video. Oh, what about the hookup? Because we didn't give any more information about the hookup. We're just going. Down. Oh, just make sure your water hookup is easy accessible and that it works. Um, we had to check ours and get it working. Um, oh, yeah, happens. maybe we'll do a video about everything we went through for the water hookup. That's what we'll do. Okay, yeah, but make sure you had a water hookup that your water hookup is working. What if somebody doesn't want to use these features but they want this refrigerator? They can still get the refrigerator. They just would what? Not what? They wouldn't have an ice maker. They would just plug the electric plug in. Oh, I got you. And yeah. that's it. That's it. They that just will plug the electric plug in. And if you want to add an ice maker um, in the future or, you know, and get the hookup, you can decide that, you know, years later whenever you're ready. I think that's a wrap for today. I see this video is going to be about 20 minutes. Um, and I'll put a picture in. 
and I put specs um, in and you can um, freeze the screen or some of the other stuff. Bye-bye.